एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सेकेंड मॉड्यूल ऑफ द पेपर इंट्रोडक्शन टू साइकोलॉजी विच इज एटेंशन एंड परसेप्शन इन द लास्ट वीक वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल वन एटेंशन we all know more about attention we use the term attention in a number of tasks in our daily lives so we know that we can't do anything without attention we need attention to think about something to read a book to listen music in every kind of task in our daily lives need attention if we pay proper attention to a task or event we can easily remember it Otherwise, poor attention may cause us to forget what you are doing. Simply, we can say attention is the ability to keep the mental processes focused on something that we are observing or hearing. In another way, it is the ability to choose and concentrate on relevant stimuli. Imagine if you are in a room with some other persons, and there are lots of background noises. meanwhile some of the person is saying something to you what should you do to hear it really listen to what someone is saying while we are ignoring other conversations in the room it is known as attenting or the process of attention when attention fails we are left scatterbrained and unable to function let us summarize about attention it is very important complex cognitive process it is the ability to choose and concentrate on relevant stimuli then what are the characteristics of attention first one is it is a selective mental activity that means here we are selecting the particular things to focus on and second one it is the focus of the consciousness on one particular object next is it is constantly shifts from one object to another or from one aspect to another next point is attention requires some motor and sensory adjustment on the part of the person being attentive these are the main characteristics of attention now we have learned what is attention and what are the characteristics of attention but you should remember that it is not a merely a cognitive function but it is essentially determined by emotional and cognitive factors such as interest attitude and striving of a particular person all these things are considered as the determining factors of attention then types of attention various authors have classified attention in a variety of ways the classification given by rose which seems to be the more acceptable classification attentions can be classified as non volitional or volitional attention non volitional or involuntary attention in this type of attention we attend to an object or an idea without any conscious effort on our part for example a mother's attention to her crying child another example is attention towards members of the opposite sex uh, attention to any sudden loud noise attention to a bright colors all these are considered as non volitional attention then what is volitional attention as its name indicates volitional or voluntary attention demands a conscious effort on our part we have a clear cut goal before us and we make ourselves attentive for its accomplishment will answering questions in the examination and solving a assigned problem of mathematics all these things are considered as volitional or voluntary attention volitional attention is further subdivided into two categories which are implicit volitional attention and explicit volitional attention in the case of implicit volitional attention a single act of volition is sufficient to bring about attention and in the case of explicit volitional attention we need repeated acts of will to sustain it when a child is assigned some mathematical sums in the classroom he does not uh, attend to them he is warned by the teacher that he will be punished if he does not do this assigned work this can make him exercise his will power attend to the assigned task and finish it properly here a single act of will is responsible for the focusing or arousing of attention hence we can say that it is implicit or volitional attention in the case of explicit volitional attention one has to struggle hard to continue to be attentive it requires strong will power application and strong motives to accomplish the task 
Let us learn another most accepted model for the attention subcomponents is currently the hierarchical model from Solberg and Matter, which is based on the clinical cases of experimental neuropsychology. And according to this model, attention can be divided into arousal attention, focused attention, sustained attention, and selective attention. Let us learn each of these subcomponents. Arousal attention which refers to our activation level and level of alertness whether we tired or energized next is focused attention which refers to our ability to focus attention on a stimulus next sustained attention it is the ability to attend a stimulus or activity over a long periods of time in the case of sustained attention an individual attention always remains on track and the activity proceeds uninterruptedly and without serious distraction Selective attention. It is the ability to attend to a specific stimulus or activity in the presence of other distracting stimuli. For example, we select a particular conversation from the background of disturbed noises. Let us summarize the types of attention. On the basis of different classification, attention can be classified into volitional and non-volitional attention and uh, on the basis of another classification it can be classified as arousal, focused attention, sustained attention and selective attention. I think all of you get an idea about the common term attention and uh, what are its characteristics and the types of attention. We have some more things to learn about attention. We will discuss all these things in the next video. I will upload the next video in the next week. Wait for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.